I'm good. How are you? Good. How old are you? Where are you located? And what are you doing for a living? I am 25 years old. I am in Georgia. I am a Brooklyn girl, though. Um, I moved to Georgia, yes. And I, I am a hairstylist, a nail tech, a mom. I do it all. See, how old is your son or daughter? I have two sons, and my youngest one is about to be two next week, and my oldest one is going to be six. He asked one reason why you're not with the two-year-olds, almost two-year-olds dad. So I was engaged to him, but baby, when God shows you the red flags, you can no longer paint them flags green. God revealed to me that he was not the man for me. He was not the man that he wanted to send for me, and I just couldn't ignore the signs anymore. What was one sign? Um... I'm not ugly. Um, I have a very bubbly personality. I am not flirtatious, but I am friendly. Any conversation with the opposite sex, he would just go crazy. And Lex, may I also ask, maybe before you guys had the baby, did you notice these signs? I did. I did notice those signs. Um, I wasn't in therapy or anything so just trying to fall in love with the what if the potential i'm a those who don't listen to this field type of person <laughs> i'm caribbean so i gotta get stung before i actually like pick up to it so this is crazy uh, these women uh, are having these children you can't you cannot make a the young ladies in the room that's watching you cannot make a mistake of having a child and rebound. I don't care if you know somebody who have rebound. You don't want them to tell you the truth about the road they have traveled. Just don't do it. You don't want to travel that path. She blamed her ill decision making on the fact that she's Caribbean. Y'all sisters got to stop doing this. Y'all, y'all blame everything. On everything else but yourselves, it's the man, it's my ethnicity, it's my weight, it's the weather, it's my location. But it ain't me. She said, I'm Caribbean, so I got to get stung before I figure it out. I got to get stung, you know, so I got stung by his wee-wee. And now I know that he ain't for me after he stung me. Um, Your muscles don't you're work. You're taking accountability. You're like, you know what? It takes two to tango. It really takes two to tango. And after I started going to therapy, I realized why I attracted those certain type of people because he's not the only narcissist that I was. <laughs> you don't have no boundaries for yourself. You don't. You're a people pleaser. You don't know how to say no. So this is why you're gonna keep attracting these people until you fix that within yourself. Describe your dream guy. Don't describe the way he looks. My dream God, first and foremost, has to be of God. He has to be a man of God. That's the first. And I honestly feel like that's literally the only trait because if you're a man of God and you're walking in that and acting like that, all the other good traits, the fruits of the spirit come after. So definitely man of God. Okay. And what does he have to look like? Please give me a tall man. Jesus, Jesus, you hear my prayers? <laughs> you hear my prayers? I want a tall man, Um, very thoughtful and who can be a student because if you only feel like oh no i should only learn from you then that's just not gonna work um somebody who understands my schedule and somebody who has kids as well so that they know what it's like to be a parent and understand like i'm not going to be able like you're gonna be a priority however my kids are you know number one as well also yeah, I'm too so like you but this is the thing, like, I was like, how does he look? The first question was like, more of who he is. That's why I was like, oh, what type of guy do you want him to be? But this question is, what does he have to look like? Okay. Um, and before she answered that, she went on to say, two things is true here. She, she pretty, pretty much telling y'all, you won't come before my kid. And I don't disagree with that. Here's the other flip of the coin. Because I don't think these women, don't put no, take care of your damn kids, right? On the other flip, we don't recommend y'all men go into these situations. Y'all see how this go? Y'all see how this go? go? Don't even go in there. So, y'all see how shit pretty demanding up here playing to my lord. Send me a tall man. I just want a tall man. And talking about he got to be willing to learn from me. He can't just be coming in here thinking I'm going to learn from him. He got to be willing to be taught. This is a baby mama talking about she's going to teach. Whatever. You're going to get what you deserve. You're going to get you a nug nug. Talking about you're going to 
I'm over it. I'm over it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't discriminate. However, I just want me a chocolate man. I don't really discriminate. No. Yeah. And tall. That's the yeah. discriminate. Yeah. Okay. How tall is tall for you? Currently, I'm talking to someone who's 6'5". So I feel like six six feet and up because I'm five five, but I wouldn't want to be staring you in the face. So I'm trying to look up. <laughs> okay. You open to all races, but you just said a chocolate man. So yeah, a chocolate man. Okay, how much does he have to make per year? I don't really care about the money, honestly. I care about the heart. I feel like if I meet my purpose partner, it's more than money. It's going to be what God wants me to do, what God wants him to do, and how we can do it collectively. Okay, so he can make 20000 a year. I asked Polly this as well. He can make 15000 20000 a year. As long as he's doing the Lord's work, God going to always provide. Like, I really don't. The money don't even... It don't matter what are to we me. talking about? I'm an entrepreneur. I make my own money. I'm writing a book. I, you know, I, I really don't care about the money. To the people who may say that's easy to find, you shouldn't be single because there, I think, are a plethora of men who would be, I think, you know, of the Lord and make as little as fifteen thousand per year. Not I don't think that's age, hard to find. Not in my age bracket is not a lot of men that's of the Lord in my age bracket. And that's the number one characteristic. So like I said, all of those other things come after. But if you, if we cannot be equally yoked, then it's no conversation. I'm not wasting my time to have a conversation. And you want something and I want something else. Okay. All right. And the person that you would that you're with your guy would are you open to 50 50 or does he have to fully provide so the, having the man who's after god's heart he actually he wants to provide he doesn't want me to do 50 50 he says he wants me to be a flower and he's the bee the bee does the flower doesn't go to the bee the bee goes what? to the flower so he just wants me to sit pretty and he does what? everything <laughs> and yeah flex mm -hmm. now flex Whoa. <laughs> How you going to say you the bead and he coming to the flower? No, I said he wants me to be the flower and he wants to be the bee. He said that the bee doesn't go to the flower, so he want me to sit down and look pretty. I mean, the flower doesn't go to the bee. That's what I mean. The flower doesn't go to the bee. You saying a lot. I know what the good minister said. With no man by your side because your damn mouth is what it is. It's a snake pit. Oh, this woman is insane. <laughs> I am not sorry. She keep coming up here talking about God fearing the man of God, a God, a man that's after God's heart, a, a God is after a man's heart, all this stuff. She keep throwing God and Jesus into this. And in the same breath, she said, I want a tall guy because I'm currently talking to a guy that's six foot five. So I'm talking to this guy that's six foot five, and I'm over here looking for another guy. But I'm doing God's work. <laughs> then she went on to say, she's talking about he can make 20K. Five seconds later, he has to be a full provider. We ain't doing no 50 50. God gonna send me a man that God says a man supposed to provide. Yada, yada, yada. One fish, a Q, blue fish, red fish, orange fish, two, three, six fish. I don't know what the hell she's doing. <laughs> She said, she said, because you understand what I was told. I was told that I'm a flower. The Lord said, I'm a beautiful flower. And he gonna send me a bee and says I'm a flower. I'm just gonna sit here and sit pretty, and the bee gonna come to me. I don't move. She said I'm gonna just rest. I'm a baby mom. I'm out here. I'm rough. I'm rugged. I got on. I got on my best wig. I'm all frumped. She frumped out like a mother sucker. I'm frumped out. All right, but I'm a beautiful flower, baby mama. Now bring me a provider guy from church making big boss bread and take care of me while I'm looking like this. <laughs> and my children and my kids so four and the six year old she got this is terrible you gotta take care of them kids with that real. wig hey squeegee kid i think we all wigged out tonight i ain't see no natural i ain't see no scouts tonight not one and she that's all she got is that hair her shirt and her hoodie you come on kendra's show slunt look at she look like the hunchback of notre dawn the way she's sitting look at she's sitting like this with a hoodie on <laughs> It's not it. But I'm saying, how you gonna do that? The fly with a bee gonna do that with fifteen thousand? No, he don't. He's a medic. He don't make fifteen thousand. He made more than that. I'm just saying, I don't care about the money. 
but the person that got sick i don't care about it no no that's why i asked you how much does he have to make a year and you said it doesn't matter he can make as little as fifteen thousand a year but then i asked you fully fully providing or 50 50 you said the bible says that a man takes care of the woman right no, i'm I, just i'm just I said that the man that god sent for me takes care of me however i Shout out to Q what it do. He come through with the $40 in the soup and the cash app. And I've been seeing y'all dropping them skips in there. So I, I guess it's over. I feel y'all as it should be. Appreciate you, Q what it do. There you go. She aggressive as all get out. She up here. She like, no, no, my man, the Bible going to bring me this dude. And she just loud all up in the camera. Where? I just, I can't even wrap my mind around. I want her to keep on cooking. I knew it was coming to a head. Something. But yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. I don't think she was done. It probably was another small bombshell. But that's all right, because there's one more woman after her that we're going to finish the show out on. Um, As far as she goes, this is old school band worthy. Yes. She got small kids. She playing in but I no put her in the sub, please. Cause listen here, she is her attitude. Look how she came on camera looking for this this amazing guy she's describing with a hoodie, a t shirt on, and a nasty stinking wig. She don't deserve nothing but the bioluminescence, in my opinion. Okay, two sub. <laughs> so been working. The passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, diamond wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Yeah. Appreciate you, Corey. He says, I guess she waiting for a girlfriend because bees are female. Yeah. I think Monique was touching that. That's true. I should do that being the beekeeper. Yeah, bees is female. Uh -huh. the, the male bees don't even lead a hive. They just they just go mate with a random queen and come back until they die. <laughs> okay. So there y'all go. So yeah, they just be talking up here, Bonquisha. Yeah, that's dumb. The male bees, they go out, they mate with another random queen from a hive. They come back. And they just be around the hive eating all the honey. And then the fall comes and the women kick them out the hive and they just freeze Where's them. the a damn male bee? A couch negro? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Essentially. Yes. He don't do nothing. He don't have a stinger. He can't fight. He just what? goes. Yes. The, the male, male bee. bee. Holy hell. Don't let me find out the male bee is like nug nug and couch negroes, man. <laughs> After he go mate with the other queen, he don't do anything. Thing else but sit around and have and eat and then fall time come and food gets scarce and all the queens not the queens but the the female bees they kick them out the have and you go out to the have and they just be out and they just freeze to death in the fall because <laughs> they worthless this is what we're talking about <laughs> we sit up here talking about bees we sit we talk about lions but the women shout to my girl crystal in there they will call y'all can't talk about animals we humans y'all don't get how some of this stuff is so closely intertwined man yes yes and the queen yeah y'all the queen bee is at the mercy of the hive if the queen bee don't do her job correctly they eliminate her and and they create another one <laughs> everybody held accountable even the queen how about that here we go <laughs>